Good day to you guys. So this is going to be your weekly reading for the 15th to the 21st. Let me know if you guys like this and want more. Because if you're unfamiliar, I do do mostly daily readings. That's interesting because this strength card, not this particular one, but a strength card came out this morning for myself. So it looks like we're going to need some strength here. And it looks like it's going to be easier than we think. So if you're starting out the week going, oh my God, how am I going to do this? You know, this is going to be arduous. Hold on and have the strength. And I'm hearing putting out some mischievous ideas is going to be advantageous for your week. All right. So here's the other two here. There is the two of pentacles and the lovers. So there's going to be some balancing, some changing things up. And I heard for some people it's going to be actually moving jobs because I, what I heard was like hopping, her hopping from the different buildings, but yet able to keep that balance and keeping one's focus. With this lover's card, there's going to be the thoughts of a lover. And there's some sort of disingenuous situation that's going on here. So if, you know, if you are one that is feeling like you're, you're questioning if someone is being honest, sincere, forthright, and fully open in their heart, really look again, because this message is probably for you where you're like, okay, I'm assuming that this person is here, but see how they're holding her hand? It's almost kind of like a come here, but don't get too close sort of a thing. So keep aware of that. Now let's see, I want to use my alchemy deck here. What else do we need to know for the week? Nice. Here is the Ace of Pentacles and the High Priestess. From what I heard from this right away is you know more than you think. Same thing with going here. It's like having the strength, putting some fun twist on it. And it's going to off-put someone where if you come at them in a funny sort of way, they're going to be like, huh? And then they're going to kind of lighten up their stance towards you as well. Or what I heard not take you as seriously. Or like if they're viewing you as a threat. Okay. And I know these are kind of coming hard and fast. But it's what I get. With this one I'm hearing. Especially with this nature here. As I get out in nature. Feel the soil. That's going to be important for some grounding for some of you. And for oddly enough there's going to be. Somebody or you know. Quite a bit of you that have a portal that is opening and you're actually going to feel it. You're going to feel a shift, a change. And it's not necessarily on like the global scale. It's more you and your immediate surroundings. And there's something that's going to be a little startling. Oh, okay. And so that's why they're saying to have the strength and realize that if I can pick this one up, don't take things too seriously. Have fun with things because that's going to help people to kind of keep calm as well. And you're going to be the grounding force for people and you're going to get some accolades and kudos and thank yous this week, you know, for staying the calm, cool and collected. And I'm not saying some, like I said, nothing major is happening. For this week, it's more internal and your your immediate environment. Okay. Okay, now they want to do this one. And when I say they, it's my guides. Or the guides, right? Boundaries. Make sure that you're setting boundaries this week. You might come at a situation with strength, being grounded, and having a little bit of fun with this. But also make sure that if someone's testing you, if they need to be backed up a little bit, then do it. 
And then the message of the card is love yourself enough to say no to others. Demands on your time and energy. You know, this is like that. You know, it says Ishtar, but it also, you know, is very reminiscent of Isis as well. To me. But I am really into Isis, so. And welcome. Artemis, guardian. You and your loved ones are safe and spiritually protected. Which is always a nice message to get. Because you have the strength to realize that you're safe. That your loved ones are safe. And you are spiritually connected. So you can have this, you know, silly strength to you going, no, everything's fine in, in my sphere. And kind of lighten other people up. You know, and I think it's kind of funny how the the lion here is licking her palm, or at least it looks to be licking her palm. And there is no submission here. There's none. There's a mutual love and trust there. All right, what else? And they're also saying too, with her, with the arrow, take your aim. This is a good week to really shine and show who you are and what you're capable of doing. And even though you think people aren't going to notice, they're going to notice. And like I said earlier, you're going to get those accolades, those thank yous, and you're going to be building, um, especially if it's in the workplace, trust with your coworkers. So if you're trying to get a promotion or looking for one, there you go. And for those of you who aren't, it's going to help you gain more confidence within yourself so you can know what's right for you in your next steps for whatever you're doing. Okay. I love this one. So it's filling your own cups, making sure that you have all of your ducks in a row. thinking about the past. And there's this deep grounding this week. So there's going to be like a deep contemplative grounding that is going to be happening for those who stay grounded. See, she's, she's got, she's grounded in, she's earthing is what they call it. Right? So go out and earth, get your feet in the ground, go sit at the beach, you know, go sit in your garden, in your yard. And for some reason, I'm feeling emotional, like all of a sudden. So there's some transmutation that needs to happen. And that's why they're also asking us to go and be with the earth. Because there's a, there's a, some kind of energy that needs to move through. And we could be the conduits or, or con conduits or the straws for it. So get out there, you know, put your feet on the ground. And let whatever needs to flow through to flow through. Because, you know, this isn't a transition just for us or an awakening for us. This is for the earth as well. Okay? So make sure you're nurturing the earth. Because it, it's, it's this reciprocal thing where it helps you to feel that groundedness. Okay, there's two of them that want to come out here. Interesting, I'm hearing... Do not, I repeat, do not get involved in someone else's drama trauma. Don't do it. It's not worth it. Get yourself out of it. So if you see two people arguing and you're like, oh, I could lend some, you know, wisdom here. Don't, nope, don't do it. Maybe another week, but not this week. Okay. It's not worth it. They'll end up actually not um, being real pleased with you. And I know there was that part where it was like, oh, people are going to see you take charge and get things done. But if it's just two people, don't stay out of it. Okay. I'm really feeling like this calmness and this beauty in the week. And you're kind of like this wind that's going to blow things along. I hope that you have a lovely week. And I'll see you guys next time.